The SpongeBob SquarePants movie game is a childhood classic for many people. However, over time the game shows its age and rush development more and more. One of the biggest issues I hear people complain about is how in the last driving level, Drive of the Knucklehead McSpazitron, Mindy asks for 50 tokens out of the total 63 that you can even get at that point. This is simply too high for a lot of people and it forces a lot of backtracking. Today, I'm going to quickly show you how to successfully pull off one of the easiest tricks in the game, Mindy Skip. A trick that allows you to play the level with 41 tokens instead of 50. The only requirement is playing on either an original Xbox or an Xbox 360. With that out of the way, let's get on to the trick. Step 1. In No Cheese, press B to release Spongebob's Spongeball move, but make sure it's upgraded. Then, press B again to detonate the bowl. In the middle of the bowl detonation, press Start to bring up the menu. Step 2. Warp to the Spongebob challenge in Shell City Dead Ahead. Once you've loaded into the level, press start and then warp to Drive of the Knucklehead McSpazitron. Step 3. Once you've loaded into the level and Mindy tries to talk to you, hold the R trigger and the A button, then keep pressing the B button every time Mindy's text box appears and when the menu forces itself to open. Keep doing this until you fall into the pit and the hand grabs you. When the hand places you back, the ring challenge will activate. At this point, you'll want to open the menu and re-warp to the level, or else nothing will happen when you pass the finish line. However, if you get this camera angle, it means that the trick didn't work. As soon as you see this camera angle, quickly press B to open the menu to prevent the game from crashing. This trick has a random chance of failing for seemingly no reason, so you can just repeat all the steps again and the trick will likely work the second time. Please keep in mind that if you do this trick, you cannot collect any other tokens in this level past the first one, meaning you cannot 100% the game. And with that, you've successfully pulled off the trick. This setup might seem very specific, but I can't really explain why any of this stuff is necessary because we don't understand how the trick works. This is just a quick tutorial for beginners or casual players wanting to experience the game with less backtracking. If you just want to try this trick for fun but don't have a save file with this many tokens, you can look up the in-game cheat codes to give yourself all the warps as well as all the upgraded moves. I hope this short tutorial has helped. Please don't hesitate to comment if you have any questions or issues with the trick. If you're new here, I stream speedruns of this game on Twitch for 5 days a week for 4 hours each, so it'd be cool if you could check that out. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.